Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Super Mario World with your host, Kieran Lochran. And we are now starting the vanilla dome stages. I, I know I said I was going to stop the episodes, but it's still continuously recording, so I'm making it out as if I've stopped recording and then recorded the next, but here we go. Let's start the first vanilla dome. And again, like I said, I will only go for mainly the green switch, well, not the green switch, um, the, the switch palace secrets, because they will become handy at later on levels. There's two ways you can actually beat this bonus one for this one, but this doesn't take you to a switch palace, though. So what you want to do in this area, just spin jump, and Yoshi will defeat it like this. So, oh no. Well, I'm not going to do that now, am I? Okay, so what you've really got to do, um, walk across here. There should be a, yeah, Buzzy Beetle right here. I don't want to get that mushroom because I don't want to lose my fire flower. Okay, so the secret exit's actually up here, but you need the red switch palace to get it. Which, um, we haven't got the red switch yet, so that's not an option at the moment. Anyway, um, we will proceed... Oh, wait, hold on. Get the star power up. No, oh, I missed the last one, dang it. But yeah, you had to run as quick as you can before that falls, and you land into the, the lava. That would not be fun. So there's a checkpoint. So we get the buzzy beetle. Okay, so... The vanilla, the vanilla dome stages are mainly, like, underground levels like this. So... Yoshi can eat these as well, I think, yep. Eat the spinies, so they don't become a hassle later. So, yep, now that the spinies are dealt with, we run across here. Wait until that piranha plant falls down. And then refire at him. There we go. Look, spiral. No, not spi spiral. I meant Yoshi. Spiral. Because it, it got stuck in my head there for a moment, because I was going to say, Yoshi is not a dinosaur. He's a dragon. He breathes fire. So, yep. 26 points. Boop! No, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because I know that's probably scared you. <laughs> anyway, um, we will enter Vanilla Dome 2. And this is the one with the secret exit that has the Switch Palace. Which I will get to. I will get to that first and then I will do the regular exit for this one in a bit. Yeah, I have to abandon Yoshi for this one, so I'll get you back later, Yoshi. I'll be back, buddy. Well, you'll be back. I don't know when you're going to be back, but... It just depends if I find another shell. Alright, so the secret exit's actually on the left here where the brown blocks are, but you need a P-switch in order to get it. So this is where the fire flower would be helpful. Swimming stages like this is useful for fire flower. Because it's so... Because you can't land on the... Oh, I didn't want to do that. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll get the cape feather, and then I'll get the fire flower. So I think... To get, yep, the secret exit's around here. So, press the switch, and then we come down here. So we don't want to hit that, get hit by that jeep jeep. Jeep jeep! That means that's the end of the timer. And the jeep jeep just cheap cheaped me out of the, out of the, the power up. So, yep. If you hold an item as well, you actually use the D-pads to to control Mario when he's in water. That is actually kind of similar to how he controls with the frog suit in Mario 3, which I haven't played yet. But yep, there's the secret exit. And this takes you to the red switch palace. And for this one, um, you want to hit the switch, then... So you spin jump on that shell, like to kill it. 
And now, because of that, we have beaten the Switch Palace and boom. Power of the Switch you have pushed will turn that into that. Your progress will also be saved, the same as the last one that told us this. Yep. They all say the exact same thing, just shows you a different color. And the red blocks. Boom. Then, now, I will do the regular exit. Right, I'm back where I am, folks, and, um, what we do, um, again, it's just the same as usual, just beat the stage, and be careful with that chuckster, before he hits you. I need the, I need the cape to do this one. Whoa, how did you get there? How did you get there? He just ran to that side, like, dude. You can't go, you can't go back on yourself and just magically appear out of nowhere like an RKO. They're like, nah, man. That's not how you do that. Nah, bruh. Nah, man. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to hurt me. I'm supposed to make me lose my stuff. Hey! I forgot that some chucksters actually divide into three people, which is not fun. Because that can catch you off guard sometimes. Okay, so we go up to another ghost house. And this ghost house is not fun. Just the same thing as usual. Each, each ghost house has its own puzzle towards it. Which is up! Uh, I messed the jump up there, so I am probably going to die soon, or which I, I probably won't, because I got Super Mario. You know, when I call Extra Lives Extra Guy, in this game they actually refer to Extra Lives as Extra Mario. So should I, should I keep calling it Extra Guy, or should I call it Extra Mario? <laughs> Because I've, I've been so used to calling it Extra Guy because of my friend Brad, so... Who, again, I'll leave his link in the description below. Just because I gave him a shout-out. Because he says it in his stream all the time, he says, Extra Guy. And, yep. Whoa, yep, these are not fun. These are not fun whatsoever. Because you can't do anything with it. Like, it just hits you. As soon as you even touch it, so they are not fun in the slightest. Uh, I get so close to touching them though, it's like, how do I get so lucky? Lucky, lucky, lucky. Well, okay, see, you see how there's a. Oh! Get, ov get over me. There we go. Okay, so notice that there was a coin in the shape of a door over there. That's actually where you want to go. So you get the P switch, push that. And you go towards that door here. And then, the end of the stage is right here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba. Uh, yep. That is how to do. And then it will save your progress here. Okay, and now we will do Vanilla Dome 3. And this one's not a fun stage. And there's Blarg right there in the lava. <laughs> I nearly said the water, but that's lava. Blargs are horrible in this level as well. Because they can just appear out of nowhere. Sometimes you don't even see them in the water. In the lava. And then they will just harm you. It's like, it's horrible. I really should have equipped my cape feather to do this. But silly me forgot to equip it before I done this. See, blogs are horrible in this level. Absolute vile. All right. So now I'll get the cape feather. All right. Get the coin block. All right. So we come here. The blog trying to hit me again. We jump up here. Whoop. Buzzy beetle. How many, how many piranha plants did I just hit there? Okay, so be careful with that bit. That is quite a trick. And then I just... <laughs> I actually killed piranha plant in there. He never even came out. Like, how does that even make sense, like, to hit piranha plant when he's still in there? I'm not going to question it because it does me favors, so... 
I just done that just to get the checkpoint, just in case I die. Right, so we land on these, um, this skull, this skull raft, and it will take you across. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Um, I'm still quite tired from um, last night because I, I was up late last night. Because being diabetic, my sugar levels are a bit bad and um, leaves leaves me not able to sleep half the time. But yep, I'm wide awake just enough like to be able to play some Mario for you folks. Right, so anyway, we come across here. Oh, I don't want to get that because I want to save my fire flower. Oh, I forgot to get the flipping thing, didn't I? Right, you need to get the raft activated first. And then make it go its way over here. And then we go on it. Then we can progress. And boom. We have got 30 and that will take us to the bonus stage. Okay, so again, bonus game. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, well, I didn't I didn't match them up this time. I didn't even match up to begin with, because... Maybe someone in the comments will tell me how that works and how those are timed, but... I, unfortunately, have no idea how that works. Wait, this is a horrible level. Because these bullet bills just fly everywhere. And you never know where they're going to come from. I mean, there is a pattern to where they come from, but... Sometimes they can catch you off guard and then you just panic as soon as they come, like me, for example. Okay, so... Get the checkpoint. There we go. I don't know. I'm, t I'm taking the shell with me, so, like, if I see an enemy, I'll be like, huh, throw the shell at it. I don't know if, um, the... I don't know if the shells work on bullet bills, do they? Well, I'm not going to be able to test it now, because that freaked me out, and I got hit, and now I can't float to the end. <laughs> see, it's ones like that that terrify me, because you literally can't do a thing about it. So get the Koopa. Oh, I oh I nearly jumped too early there, but that's fine. I'll I'll take the end there. It's totally fine. I've got it. I've got this. I'm good. I'm good. Good. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. Before I do this, I'm gonna go back and get some um, equipment. All right, I am back with some more equipment. So let's begin Lemmy's castle. So again, like the other two castles, can't go in there without Yoshi. And um, a different way of how this boss fight works. Right, so this one... Oh, the Magic Koopas are horrible in this one. Okay, so just spin, jump, and destroy that. And... Oh, no. Oh, no, folks. Oh, golly. I thought I screwed myself there for a bit, but I think I just managed to make it fine. See, when you've got the cape feather, it makes the game a breeze. Like, get through! Okay, I say that as I get hit. Okay, so be careful not to not to get hit that much, but let's right, so put the switch down here. Let me go into the door. And there's the checkpoint. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to you, if you're small Mario, and you go through a checkpoint, you automatically turn into Super Mario. And there's an extra guy. Okay, now that's beaten. Okay, I have to wait until that comes back up. Need you to come back up. There we go. And we stand on top of this. The thing with the castle stages as well, 
is that they give you a lot of time, like, to beat them, because that... I've still got at least 300 seconds left to beat in this stage. So, yep. Oh, whoa. Right, the boss fight is simple-ish in this one. Well, I don't know. I don't remember what boss... Oh, no, wait. I'll come back. <laughs> I don't want to get crushed by that thing. Mario and his big nose. <laughs> What's up? He's got a big nose, look. <laughs> so nosy, look at him. But his nose looks a lot bigger when he's small, Mario. Like, when he looks up. It's so funny. It's like, that's literally the only thing you look at when he looks up. Alright, so we get rid of the... Well, I mean, we can't get rid of the dry bones because we haven't got the cape feather. I probably would have kept the cape feather if I didn't screw up. And there's a cape feather here. Very. That's why I said it was so handy to get the switch palaces. Okay. To do this boss fight, you need to hit the odd... Oh, no. I've screwed this up. You need to hit the odd one out. Because as you can see... Ah, I got killed. No. Right, we're back here, folks. Um, okay, so the gimmick for this is hit the odd one out. So if I pause, um, you can see two of them are dummies. You want you want to hit the one that's got the yellow head. So you gotta go. Yeah, I missed him. Even even. So yeah, go for the one that's the odd one out. The other two are fake. So yep, that's how you beat this one. Woo! It was a tricky boss, that one. That was horrible. And then Mario has got a hammer, and he's gonna hammer it down. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Cooper of Castle 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Yep, I have found the red and the green one. The only... Well, I mean, I found the red one, I found the green one, and I found the yellow one. The only one I haven't found yet is the blue one. So, yep, that's not... That's not fun. So, yep, we will save and continue. <laughs> 